You're listening to KNDR Mandan. Monday, September 16th at 7.30 p.m. in the Bismarck Civic Center. You're right. We're excited about that concert, aren't we? You're right. I'm right. Good I'm right. morning. <laughs> you know what day this is? Don't look at the calendar. It's the 29th. You got it. Of August. I only watched a little bit of the NBA playoffs, and that kind of keeps uh-huh. up a little bit later. But I had a nap yesterday to make up for some of the time that I stayed up for. Yeah, you had a nap. Let's see, it was between 9.30 and 10.30 yesterday morning, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> right here at the station. <laughs> I hope not. Anyway. Well, how was the awards banquet? That was where, at Holiday Inn? That was at the Holiday Inn Hall of Ports. It was very good. And uh, the hospital or the medical center is really excited about uh, their 100th birthday, 100 years of today. Today, I think it's today that Bob Schuler right. from St. Alexis. This is going to be on. Now, I've heard it pronounced St. Alexius and St. Alexis. Well, Sally, my wife, prefers St. Alexis. But last night, a few of the people that got up said St. Alexius. Ale- so there's, oh. I don't know, there's some play in there. I think there's there. probably an old, uh, <laughs> the way it used to be mm-hmm. pronounced and the way it, it kind of evolved into being announced, I suppose. So we've got a good day. I don't know what exactly we're going to be doing today, but and what's the 29th <laughs> of August? Do you know what I just remembered this very second? What's you that? know what? It's my parents' anniversary today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I How forgot. How long have they been married, do you know, offhand? Well, if I tell you that, then you know how old I am, approximately, because they got married a year before I was born. They, this, they got married in 53, let's put it that way. Okay, so they've been married 31 years? 32 years. 32 years. This is 85, Brad. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Oh, oh, my I goodness, I that. just remembered it's my parents' anniversary. Well, that's a good Isn't that reason. funny? I'm glad I asked you what day this was because otherwise I would have never thought of their anniversary. Well, we're going to see them tonight, so hopefully we'll have something huh? special. Who are you talking to? My mother was just on the line. We were just having a friendly conversation <laughs> during the last song. But uh, do, you, I, do you expect us to pay you for those no, minutes? That you, oh. <laughs> obviously not, but... Uh, <laughs> There is no excuse. No, she had to go. She's a busy lady. She's a, a working mother. We still have one were you a latch, at home. Were you a latchkey child? <laughs> <laughs> boy, there's a listener of Candy R. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, boy, we, we're giggly today, I can tell. See, we're getting ready to go away for the weekend. Yeah. Even though Amy Grant's canceled, we're still going to go to Minneapolis and see if we can't find something to come back and report next week, right? <laughs> something. We'll find something in that city. At least my parents' anniversary. We can talk about that. Yeah. Well, by golly, I didn't even realize it was my folks' anniversary. Now I'm really stalled here. I've got to try to think of a present. I better get him. <laughs> well, let's see. We have uh, Jamestown, Fargo, and St. Cloud. Yeah, we <laughs> <laughs> we got enough stops on the way. We can pick up maybe some trinkets. What about a Bismarck uh, a souvenir or something? Well, there's always the inexpensive jackalope postcard <laughs> you know the half deer and right, half rabbit right well if anybody has any suggestions <laughs> on what you can get your folks quick before you leave town feel free to call me at 663-2345 anyway okay here's a good one how about this for the proverb of the day from proverbs 29 okay proverbs 29 verse 17 correct your son and he will give you comfort <laughs> he will also delight your soul uh, this sounds like my folks today correct your son and he will give you comfort he will also delight your soul. Proverbs 29, verse 17, the proverb of the day. And we'll be back after music with a Bible quiz. That's the end of the song. Where's Brad? <laughs> Come on, Brad. I'm sorry. I, I have another suggestion. What? I have another suggestion. Somebody called in and said, Get your folks for their anniversary... Which is today, Steve. You're right, it is. Get your folks a gift certificate to their favorite restaurant down in the cities. Oh, you know what's an excellent restaurant down there? They live in Minnetonka, and there's a restaurant called T. Wright's. Mm. And they have a 32-ounce prime rib. You know what 32 ounces is? That's two pounds. Yeah. And they have this salad bar. It's absolutely the longest salad bar I've ever seen. And they have bowls. You know what a salad bowl usually looks like? I mean, I'm talking about the regular salad bowl, not the thing you put your helping in, but the big one. That's that's about the size of a salad bowl you get to put your salad in there. And 32-ounce prime rib. It's like a roast. I mean, it's like each person gets a roast. Well, you're a steak man, so that's... 
probably one of your Somebody favorites. else called in and suggested that we stop by a Bible and bookstore on the way out of town and pick up one of the plaques. They have a whole bunch of plaques, and they were mentioning the footprints <laughs> plaques that they have there. So <laughs> Was that... They also By said, chance, somebody from a bookstore or something? I don't know, no. but they said that they said the Bible and book wraps it up too. So hey. <laughs> that's what I need because I'm a terrible <laughs> package wrapper. Do you, do you wrap packages? Oh, a little bit. Usually around December, I swing into that kind of mode. But <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Okay, let's sure. see. We've got to find a good Bible quiz this morning because we have three submarine sandwiches to give away. These are our last three submarine sandwiches You're of kidding. the whole summer. Well, this is the end of the summer. Oh, th this is truly sad. I think it is. <laughs> I think you better ring those phones for these because these are the last three sandwiches. These are the final three. That's right. We gave away 80 submarine sandwiches this summer. <laughs> Isn't that something? <laughs> yes, and 80 tummies are just a little That's bit fuller right. because of us. Doesn't that make you feel good? That's right. <laughs> Okay, here we go, folks. We're going to take callers. Brad is going to take callers. Three, six, and nine. You ready? Six, six, three, two, three, four, five. Jesus said that he would rebuild the temple in how many days? That's not so hard, is it? No. Nope. Jesus said he would rebuild the temple in how many days? Callers three, six, and nine at six, six, three, two, three, four, five. Okay, Bob, Jesus said he would rebuild the temple in how many days? Three days. That's right. And you get one of our final submarine sandwiches, too. Good. We hope that you have a good day. What are you going to be doing? Well, I'll be working today. What are you going to do for this weekend? Uh, I'm going to a, a married young married retreat up at our church camp. Oh, that sounds neat. Yeah. Is it uh, where a couple, you mean like couples get away? Yeah. Yeah, It's uh, it's uh, we have it every year on Labor Day weekend. Where, what camp is that? It's up at um, the United Pentecostal Church Camp up by Harvey. Oh, that's neat. Well, we're all, that's exciting. Yeah, we want. I'm excited about it. Yeah, that. we hope that you have a good weekend, okay? Well, thanks. Okay, so long, Bob. Okay, bye. Ed Eli, that's right. right? Now that one I got right, Ed. And finally, we have our third winner, Terry Gross. Thank you. Okay, God bless. Bye-bye. Terry Gross, Ed Eli, and Bob Simons. That's right. See, I got it. Our three winners this morning, and we don't send the sandwiches out. We just send coupons. Yeah, we office, tried that yeah, once. But post office doesn't work. like that. No, <laughs> they have a hard time when it goes through those machines. You know. Okay, it's time for weather capsule brought to you this morning by First Federal Savings and Loan. Good for you in North Dakota too. It's 29 minutes before eight, and by the way, that scripture reference for that question is John 2 verse 19. Jesus said to them, "Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up." We'll have another Bible quiz question later in this half hour. Okay. What's, what do we got next here? We got Kids Song of the Day? Yeah, it's the KNDR Kids Song of the Day from the ever-popular Bullfrogs and Butterflies, which is actually the group Candle. Did you know that that's now a gold record? Really? They've sold a half a million copies of Bullfrogs and Butterflies. That's so good. I think there are about six or seven gold records that were Christian records. Good kids Amy, Amy Grant. Amy Grant has two gold records and a platinum now. <laughs> Sandy Patty has one, Music Machine, Dallas Home and Praise, um, Alleluia. Alleluia from the Gazers, that's right. And uh, Bullfrogs and Butterflies. Hmm, that's neat. Our kid song of the day is Friends from Bullfrogs and Butterflies. That's from Bullfrogs and Butterflies, the kid song of the day at 26 minutes before 8. And 51, did you set it? It's Drizzle 51. and 51. Yeah, it's cool outside. I went out for a little walk this morning before work, and uh, it's a little little brisk out there. I read yesterday Feels a good. wire that... Uh, some places, are, this one place dipped down to about 30 degrees. There was some frost, too. In, in North Dakota. That's, that's easy to pinpoint, yeah. <laughs> well, I can't remember where it was, but it was like 30 degrees or 31. Yeah. It rained all day yesterday in Minneapolis. I got a call from a friend last night, and he said it was just raining, pouring rain there. So, anyway, I'm so glad we're friends, Brad. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> I thought that kind of went along with that I song. Bet you're gonna pray, I bet you're going to play Friends, right? You got it. <laughs> <laughs> That's Michael W. Smith with Amy Grant. 21 minutes before 8, and I like that. It's nice to be friends. Brad and I are talking about our trip, figuring out what we're going to do. <laughs> he wants to stop at McDonald's and at the bank and all this stuff. But <laughs> Right now my wife's saying, that's just like Brad. He <laughs> says he wants to leave at a certain time, and it's always a half hour later. <laughs> but 
I'm one of those guys, I like to get in the car and go. No stops, unless oh. absolutely necessary. So we'll see how it goes. We're going to have fun. What were you going to ask me? I was going to, you know, since uh, school was starting this week, I was going to ask you where you went to school, which you can tell us all the places. Now, you have a long history, and then it would be my <laughs> turn, and I'd tell you, and then it would be a... I thought it would be just fun to do that. Where'd you go to you school? You mean after high school? No, like, uh, I'm thinking about, like, elementary and junior high and high school and stuff. That's so many. Let's just... I'll tell you where I went to college. How about that? I went all to right. University of South Dakota, and... That which was is in under, Sioux Falls? No, that's in Vermilion. Oh, okay. And then I went to University of Minnesota for graduate school. Hmm. I got my master's degree there. That's interesting. So I went to about I went to school about eighteen years. Did you know that I went to second grade in three different schools? No, tell us about it, Brad. Okay, I will. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had went to first grade in Harriet, South Dakota. Oh, you did. Uh huh. And uh, finished first grade in Bowman, North Dakota. Started second grade in Bowman. Went to three weeks of second grade in Linton. <laughs> and finished second grade <laughs> at Pioneer in Bismarck. No, Pioneer don't adjust Elementary. your dial, folks. This is really KNDR. <laughs> and then I went to Walker Junior High School and then Bismarck High. And of all those, what was your favorite place? I think... Uh, both Pioneer Elementary and Bismarck High. Mm -hmm. Walker was fun, too. They, all Bismarck schools were, you know, I liked them a lot better than the smaller towns. Nothing against small town schools now, but uh, <laughs> all of a sudden a rash of phone calls right now. No, no. It's funny when the Dayton's folks came in to, to promote the store opening up, and they called all the radio stations. We went over for a press conference, and they were talking about how nice it was to be in a small town like Bismarck. <laughs> <laughs> It's time for this morning's hymn of the day. Let's listen now as the Fielder Road Baptist Church Choir shares with us, My Jesus, I Love Thee, this morning's hymn of the day. Amen. My Jesus, I Love Thee. That's from the Fielder Road Baptist Church Choir, this morning's hymn of the day. 14 minutes before 8, 51 degrees outside, cloudy with drizzle and fog today, 20% chance of rain. Highs will be around 70, and tonight it'll still be a little cool with the lows around 50. Right now, 51 degrees. And we have one more thing we're going to give away this morning, but we'll save mm -hmm. that for just a couple more minutes. We're going to give away a cassette tape of David Meese's latest album, Seven. It's going to be coming up in just a few minutes, so stay tuned. Right now, music from the Imperials. Hey, Imperials. Brad was singing along on that one. It's 13 <laughs> minutes before. You want to share a little of that with us? No. You were okay. singing the bass there. Yep. Let's have our Bible quiz, okay? And this is going to be for a David Meese cassette. Let's see. Should we make it an easy one or a tough one? If we make it easy, then we're going to have to take a, a high number caller. So let's uh, make it an easy one. They like the easy ones better. Right. They like them to be kind of challenging, but uh, let's see what we can find. Fairly here. easy, right? Yeah, fairly <laughs> easy. Okay, here we go. We're going to take the 10th caller at 663-2345. The 10th caller will win a cassette of David Meese's latest album. What was the name of the couple who died because they lied to the Holy Spirit. Remember that in the book of Acts? What was the name of the couple who died because they lied to the Holy Spirit? Tenth caller at 663-2345. Amy Grant, eight minutes before eight, and we do have this morning's winner for the David Meese cassette. Ruth Engel is on the phone with us. Good morning, Ruth. Good morning. And how are you this morning? Well, it could be better. I'm still going on my crutches, so... Oh, you are? Yeah. How early did you get up today? Pardon? How early did you get up? Oh, about quarter to seven. Well, that's not bad. Yeah, t uh, tell the folks why you're on the crutches. Uh, I was at church camp four weeks ago as a counselor, and my back gave out. Yeah, well, we sure hope you get better. Thank you. And uh, we're happy to send you this cassette as long as you answer the question correctly. And the question this morning is, what was the name of the couple who died because they lied to the Holy Spirit? Ananias and Sapphira. That's Ananias and Sapphira, right. Acts chapter 5. And what are you going to do for Labor Day weekend, Ruth? I guess just sit at home by myself. Oh, well, we hope that you can find somebody to spend some time with, okay? 
Thank you. You want us to send you that cassette? Well, it's up to you if you want. If not, I'll get over sometime. Okay. All right. Well, we hope you have a good day. Thank you. All right. Bye. Our friend Ruth Engel on the phone with us, seven minutes before eight. And that's in Acts chapter 5, verses 1 through 10. You can read that story. It's a fascinating story to read about how they lied to the group of believers and to the Holy Spirit. Boy, the lines were busy on that one, oh, I tell you. We, well, when you give away something like that, which is worth $9, the people, phones people are call in. in. That's right. And, and next week we'll be giving away tickets, right, for David Meese? Starting to give away David Meese tickets next Tuesday, so you'll want to tune in for that. It was really neat. I drove by the Civic Center, and uh, on that blinking, uh, what do mm-hmm. they call that, the marquee? Mm-hmm. I saw David Meese, September 16th. That's great. Bismarck Civic Center. Really I thought neat. we'd play a song from the guy who was just here a couple weeks ago, Don Francisco. You emceed that concert. You did a great song. And what was the song that was going through your head all the time, Brad? Uh, what was that again? No, it was... Uh, uh, what was that? Um, you got out on stage and told everybody. Yeah, that you I'm trying get to think of the words. I know the tune. Praise the Lord. Yeah, Jesus is the Lord the way I feel. That's, That's right. it. <laughs> Let's listen to it. Yeah, that's Jimmy Swagger. Twenty six minutes after seven. What's it look like weather-wise, Brad? Well, variable cloudiness and a high in the low 70s. That's Low 70s? That's kind of what they were saying yesterday. <laughs> 72 <laughs> degrees for a high temp, so it not always, much change. It, it's felt cooler than that, though. It is foggy outside right now, so be careful if you're headed out to school or to work. We wanted to remind you that this afternoon, about 4 o'clock, we're going to have Murray Adam up here, and Murray is uh, in charge of the... Billy Graham's Worldwide Pictures for this area. He's going to be talking about the next Billy Graham film, which will be coming to this area in November. You might want to tune in this afternoon at 4 o'clock as we talk with Murray Adams. What, what's the name of that, Steve? Is it uh, it's right over Cry there. from the Mountain? Cry from the Mountain. We have a poster here at the station. I've so. heard some good things about that. What are we going to have now? Kids, kids' Song of the Day? He's nodding his head yes. The Kids' Song of the Day is from a brand new Kids' Praise album, Praise 5. And whatever you're going to be doing today, kids, do your best. Whether it's... Twenty-four minutes before eight, from Pat Boone's latest album. Good morning. This is Tuesday morning, even though it might feel like a Monday morning or might feel like a Friday morning. (laughs) (laughs) I always get mixed up when we have these three-day weekends. What did yesterday feel like to you, Brad? Um, I don't know. It felt like Saturday, sort yeah. of. Because kind of felt like Sunday to me. So yeah. But it's this is Tuesday, so don't be deceived. This is the third day of September. <laughs> you got to get to work. Got to get to school, and we hope that each one of you has a good Jesus-filled day. We're going to be giving away a David Meese ticket in just a few minutes. I uh, wanted to talk a little bit about what we did this weekend. Let's see. We uh, went to Minneapolis. If you could sum up the trip in one word, (laughs) what would it be? You know what it would be. (laughs) It would be trivia. That's right. I knew you were going to say that. Trivia. To pass the time on the way down, Brad and I played a little trivia. And on the way back. On the way back, too. (laughs) No, that really made the miles go faster. I I wasn't going to bring that up because then the audience would insist upon knowing who won. Well, since you brought it up. Steve won every time. He even <laughs> won when we played with his parents. I'm not proud of He's that, though, because there are a lot of people who think that that's, that's something you should not be proud of, of the fact that you know a lot of trivia. Well, um, I don't know about that. You did quite well. He's a whiz <laughs> at trivia. He really is. <laughs> ah, it's not that good. Anyway, it was fun, though. We stayed up till midnight Saturday night playing with my mom and my brother. And uh, we just had a really good weekend. We went around Minneapolis. I showed Brad some of the highlights of my past, <laughs> including University of Minnesota. Mm-hmm. Went over to Dinky Town and to West Bank. And uh, what else did we do of note? You Oh, you went to the Reformed Church on Sunday. Tell them about that. That's right. Pastor Tom Smith left the Bismarck Reformed Church. He had a call. And I went to Riverside Reformed. He he just moved last week. That's right. He moved on Friday, and uh, I didn't have the opportunity to hear him preach because he had just gotten there and somebody else was filling in. But it was nice to see where he's going to be pastoring, 
and uh, had some time spent with them in their home, and uh, it was a you good time. You also saw a couple from Bismarck down there, too, who were down yeah, there for the weekend. Yeah, there was another couple from Bismarck. Uh, they have a twin sister that lives in Bloomington, and so they were there as well. I was not alone. Um, At that Reformed Church. That's right. That's great. And then we had some folks from Bismarck come down. They were bringing their son to school, and their son was friends with my brother. They go to St. Thomas in St. Paul. Remember them? Were you there? Yes. Were you there that night? That's right. And uh, O'Keefe's, was that their name? Yeah, I think Dan, that's right. Dan was the son's name. And the dad's a radiologist in Bismarck, and they came down. That was fun mm -hmm. to meet them. So we were seeing Bismarck people all over the place. We probably yeah. saw more Bismarck people in Minneapolis than we did here. <laughs> I so. think so. I was thinking of, uh, when you mentioned somebody going to school, I was thinking of uh, Lillian's son. Who's Lillian's, going to yeah, Lillian's in Minneapolis right now, and she's headed back this afternoon. They took Don, their son, down to go to Northwestern. Yeah. So well, everybody had a good weekend. We had a lot of fun. No arguments? Can't think of any big... Uh, no. No. <laughs> Just over answers of the trivia. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good time. We, we ate at uh, a lot of fast food places yes. because you do that oh, when you right. travel. And uh, I think I had... I couldn't wait to get home to my wife's good cooking. I know it. I had uh, grandma's rice yesterday. Mm. Boy, did that taste mm -hmm, good. Mm -hmm. As opposed to seven cheeseburgers on the weekend. Yeah. <laughs> well, we did find one record as we went through record stores. Brad is a record connoisseur, and so we went to quite a few <laughs> record stores. And in a secular record store, we found a Christian record from Kathy Lee Johnson. Some mm -hmm. of you may know her. She was uh, She's a substitute host on Good Morning America, and she's been in a couple other things. You interviewed her a while ago. I interviewed her when I was in Florida years ago. She was appearing at one of the big clubs down there, and so I went and interviewed her and talked about her Christian testimony. We found this record that I hadn't seen for seven or eight years. Let's listen now to Kathy Lee Johnson, You Took My Heart by Surprise. It's our friend Kathy Lee Johnson, 16 minutes before 8, time for this morning's Hymn of the Day. And this morning, let's hear a verse or two from the Hymn's Triumphant album and which hymn are we doing, Bradley? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I was, take my life and let it be. I've got it. We're still a little... Uh, <laughs> give us a day or two, folks, to get yep. back into the swing. But this is a great version of Take My Life and Let It Be. From Hymns Triumphant, Take My Life and Let It Be. This is Tuesday morning, the third day of September, time for a Bible quiz, and today is the first time we're going to be giving away a ticket for our David Meese concert. In Less than two weeks. 13 days, David Meese will be here, September 16th. We're very excited about that 7.30 concert at the Bismarck Civic Center. If you've gone by the Civic Center, you've seen it up on the marquee, and uh, I've heard lots of talk about this. Folks are excited, and here's a chance for you to win a ticket. Here's all you have to do. Answer this very simple question correctly. <laughs> it is. We want people to win these, okay? Yeah. Uh, folks, you have to answer a question first. Please don't call us until we ask the question, even though the phone's already started to ring. <laughs> they want that ticket. Okay, we will take the eighth caller at 663-2345. Who said, am I my brother's keeper? Who said, am I my brother's keeper? Eighth caller, 663-2345. Music from the Imperials at nine minutes before eight. Uh, we stopped them at 20 phone calls, but the phones are still <laughs> ringing, okay? We do have our winner, for those of you that are trying to get through now. Craig Haugland is on the phone. Good morning, Craig. Good morning. What are you doing today? Just getting ready to leave for school. I figured. Don't you have to leave pretty soon? Uh, yeah, within about two minutes. All right, well, I'll hurry. Who said, am I my brother's keeper? Cain in Genesis 3 or 4. That's right. That's Cain from the Old Testament. And uh, tell us what school you go to. Shiloh Christian. And what grade? Uh, I'm a freshman. How's it going so far? Oh, it's pretty good so far. Nice break. <laughs> you had a nice weekend there in between your first couple days, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, Craig, we're going to send you the ticket, and we hope that you have a good day at school. Well, thank you. So long. Bye. Better hurry. We will be sending Craig a David Meese ticket. We're going to have more ticket giveaways throughout the next two weeks. Don't forget, David Meese is in concert September 16th at 7.30 at the Bismarck Civic Center. 
Well, I thought I was going to be able to be the first one to say happy birthday to you on the air, <laughs> and here your mother-in-law beat me to it. Well, I didn't have that plan. She just gave me a call and wanted to find out, uh, just let us know that she's getting us in loud and clear. Let's see if I can guess how old you are today. I think you're 27 today, but you might be 26. I'm 26. Oh, because I knew you were, <laughs> you're about the same age as my wife, but I couldn't remember if you were older or younger than you're a little bit younger. 1959. What a year. <laughs> what a long time ago. <laughs> Four more years, I'll be 30. Oh, that's, I mean, I'm 30. That's no big deal. Well, that's good to know that. My, life... mother, my mother said 30 was no big deal. 40 was no big deal. 50 was a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> On their 50th birthday, they went up to their cabin in northern Minnesota where there is no phone, no mail delivery. They went a week before their birthday, and they stayed for two weeks. So <laughs> nobody could get a hold of them on their 50th birthday. Nobody could remind them it was their 50th birthday. <laughs> no, I heard a lot of my friends mm. said, oh, when he hits 30, it's, you know, it really hits you. Uh, it's Life no begins at 25, right? So it's all how you feel. Well, that's good. And I just wanted to say congratulations. I have a little present for you. And uh oh have to open that up a little later. Is it, an, is it slick? <laughs> <laughs> No, it's not slick. Dakota Sun candy bars, uh, our little <laughs> precious feet pins, uh, all the other things we've given away, tickets to the Billy Graham movie. No, it's none of those things. Okay. I actually went out and bought something for you. Oh, my. Well, I appreciate that. Thanks a lot. Well, we have our hymn of the day next. Should we get into that? Sounds good. Brad, you do whatever you want to do. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> this is I'm, not, I'm not talking to you as employee to employee. I'm talking to you now as friend to friend. All right. And I just want to wish you a very happy birthday. And uh, good next year. And we love you very much. Thank you so much. Our hymn of the day is from Sandy Patty's new album, Hymns for You. Praise the Lord. Oh, hello, hello. My great Redeemer's praise. That's right. What a day. Yeah, you've been, you just flew in here. Well, not literally. I drove. <laughs> this, is a, this is a celebrated holiday, Columbus Day. That's right. So everybody gets up early on Columbus Day, don't they? After yeah, all, I mean, Columbus wasn't sleeping at this time. <laughs> I, we, I was at Kiwanis last week, and some guy got up and started making jokes about Leif Erikson and how he should be celebrating Leif Erikson Day, which I think was last Wednesday or something. <laughs> and uh, it's very true. Well, Bradley, Bradley. <laughs> I'm glad that you're here. I'm glad Why? that you're here. I don't know. It's just nice to have you in oh, here thank on a you. Monday morning. Some inter interesting things happened this weekend. I wanted to share some observations first of all last night there's a show on cbn every sunday night now it's uh at six o'clock called doris day's best friends or something like that mm -hmm. and it's, it's about her animals and things <laughs> well rock hudson made his last tv appearance on uh this program with doris day and they showed the episode last night some of you might have seen it since it's on christian broadcasting network and she got a, up at the beginning and made a little thing about Rock Hudson, you know, of course, and how sad it was that he had died and all this. And the show was kind of interesting to watch, but at the very end, when the show was all done and the music had finished, the credits had rolled, they went to black, and then some lettering came up on the screen. They started to show, you know, the words, and it said something about how a nurse, uh, Rock Hudson's nurse, in his last few weeks of life, had shared at her church that on September 15th, Rock Hudson accepted Christ. Mm. And that was two weeks before he died. Mm. And he became a Christian two weeks before he died. Yes, I heard something about that too this weekend. And something to the fact that uh, those last days were eat more bearable because he had some understanding of life, greater understanding. Yeah, it was just really interesting. It just kind of blew me away because I hadn't heard that yet. And I thought that was kind of interesting to share here in particular because uh, you always wonder, you know, what, what must go through some of these people's minds when they've had it all in life. Then they get to the point where mm -hmm. they know they're dying and you just wonder uh, what goes through their minds. So we right. can thank the Lord that he did make that commitment to Christ in his last few days. Yeah, that is neat. Uh, let's see, what else was going on this weekend? That's about it. I was going to mention a lot of people have been asking about the power increase. It's supposed to be this week, folks. The engineers are coming in today. I said <laughs> in my letter and on my notice, the week of October 14th, and here it is. This is the week. So it'll probably be in the latter part of this week when it'll happen. And 
We're real excited. The engineers are coming in today, and they're going to work their tails off. Right, Brad? That's right. And uh, <laughs> engineers are just, they're, they're funny. They, they really are. They're real interesting. Well, people. they work a lot. So they've got, <laughs> that's a hard job. So we're going to be working hard this week. So keep us in your prayers, and you can get those relatives and friends in the outlying areas already because sometime this week we'll be raising our power to 100,000 watts. And, of course, next Monday night is a big concert with Christine mm -hmm. Wurtzen. Yeah, we talked about that this morning, and we played one of her songs. And I, I think people, we, we should point out that she's an inspirational type artist. Right. You know, there's there's different categories of Christian music, and she's she's, she's middle a, of the road, sort of. When I heard, I heard her on the Christian Record of the Week Saturday night here on the mm -hmm. station, and I would classify her as a mellow Sandy Patty. So if you think Sandy Patty's mellow, she's mellower than Sandy Patty. And she, she has the same style, very beautiful, uh, inspirational music. 39 degrees and music from David Meese this morning, I can see. David Meese, six minutes before eight, and a good Monday morning to you. This is when they're celebrating Columbus Day. If you think you're going to get your mail today, then you're mistaken. <laughs> now, now, Steve. How's that for a statement? How, I, I, let me put it in a more gentle way. Don't be looking for the mailman today. <laughs> Did you go to the post office this morning? Yep. Okay. Because I knew that they had Saturday's mail in the post office boxes. There was someone in there working. They do pick up the mail, you know. They do mm -hmm. pick it up from the boxes today. So, uh, I wanted to read some letters from our contest. We're having a contest uh, to celebrate our power increase, and we're giving away 12 record albums, $105 worth of record albums, including Doug Oldham, Sandy Patty, Amy Grant, Scott Wesley Brown, just some great records, and most of them are their current up-to-date records. And they're so, new. They're new records, too. Yes, uh, we have not <laughs> taken them home and played them on our own <laughs> stereos. But uh, all you have to do is write us, give us your name and address, and tell us why you're excited about the power increase. We also have two hardcover Chuck Swindoll books. That's worth about uh, 25 bucks right there. And then two KNDR t-shirts. And who can put a value on the KNDR t-shirts? There is no value. Well, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> they're collector's items. That's right. Bound to be worth Dear KNDR, I'm very <laughs> pleased with your decision about the power increase because then I'll be able to listen up at my grandma and grandpa's house in McCluskey. We like Sailor Sam and stories of great Christians. That's from, from a gentleman named Jason, a little boy. Uh, here's a really nice poem. KNDR has a power raise to electrify souls with spirit-filled days, to boost more lives from their current ways. Kingdom news, direct relays. In all reviews, we give God praise, for his transmitting power is the power that sways. There's more to it. We'll read some more of that. There's a little there. diagram on that yeah. one, too. That's, That's well, neat. It's really good. That's this different. Is, uh, one other one here. I, too, am all excited about the increase in your power, that it's going to soon happen for two reasons. When I go out of town, I can still listen to your station. But even more so is that people who are not able to reach your station will now be able to hear God's word all day long in word and song and praise. So we're excited about that. Write us your letter. Better do it soon because uh, the contest ends next Monday. Christine Wurtzen will be choosing the winner on the afternoon show with Mary Ann. So write us at KNDR, Box 516, Mandan, 58554. Bonavani Strings. 16 minutes before 3, Brad Bales just walked in. He's going to give us a report on what's... Get in here. <laughs> He's going to give us a report on the latest calls that we've been receiving. What cities have we received calls from, Bradley? Oh, this is exciting. We got calls from Beulah, Strasburg, Mobridge, South Dakota, which is about 80 right. miles due south, Turtle Lake, uh, Carson... New Salem, New Leipzig, and Darlene called, and she said they get us 10 miles out of Jamestown. Did you hear that somebody called? They live on the other side of Bismarck High. <laughs> and they, they, couldn't, they couldn't get us on their stereo before, and now they can. Well, um, you know, it is amazing, going from 3,000 to 100,000 watts. Yeah, it's exciting. It makes you feel like you better give the temperature for other places, right? Yeah, I gave the Mowbridge temperature that. after that. they That was good. <laughs> we better get moving on this. Okay, I'll go search through uh, through our temperatures to see if we can find something, okay? Yeah. We're thanking the Lord. Brad, you need to go home. You've had a long day. Yeah, I'm starting to burn out right now. And we wouldn't want you to. burnout capacity. We would not want you to do that. So, <laughs> so uh, take the first car out of here, okay? 
Uh, that happens to be yours. You wouldn't have a way home then. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and have a Jesus filled day, okay? Thank you. Remember when you started school and the boy who sat behind you dipped your braids into the inkwell? Girls don't all wear braids now, but they still want their hair to look its best. And that's why right now the New Lookin' Mandan is offering back-to-school specials on perms and cuts. Also, Kathy Hyde has just joined the staff at the New Look, and she has the experience and talent you want to be able to look your very best. So call today, 663-6773, the New Look at 300 Southwest 3rd in Mandan. Twelve minutes before four, and one thing that Bradley asks about in that spot is about when you were a kid in school and the little boy took your braids and dipped them in the inkwell. Lillian Roth is in the room, and I'm going to ask her a very personal question. Did that ever happen to you? <laughs> no, Steve, it didn't. I always had real short hair. My mother cut my hair real, those straight square bangs and real, hmm. real short. I, I never did have pigtails till I... I guess I got a little bit older and had a, did a few myself, but... Uh, did you ever see that happen? A couple of times I did. <laughs> <laughs> the little girls were usually in tears, and I'm going to tell my mother, and... I, of course, <laughs> never did anything like that. Uh, I'm sure you didn't. No, I didn't. <laughs> I never... That's something I saw in the Little Rascals on TV. That's not something I ever really saw in school. Yeah, right. Oh, we, we had just a couple of really mm -hmm. kind of ornery boys, I guess, and, and uh, they did try it a couple of times, but that was all. So we're telling the kids now, don't try it, right? Right. But if you want your hair cut, go to the new look, right? Right. That's, <laughs> that sounds even better. They do a better job than your mother. They sure would. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 11 minutes before 4, here's the new Gaither vocal band. The price that he bought. Roberts. News coming up next, followed by the James Dobson Commentary. Greg Nelson Music Show at 4.30.